are we going to do without Frank? We love Frank. Frank Panza, bartender to the stars for over half a century at Santa Anita Park. He's the greatest guy in the world. I love him. First at the Turf Club. Who doesn't know Frank? You know, we came in here a few times and the best time we came in was after we just won a race. And we came in and Frank was just happy. And so initially it was hopefully, hey, let's just go see Frank every time we win. But now it's like, let's just go see Frank. Because he, he actually helps more when you when you don't win because you realize, you know what? There's so much more to it than, than winning and losing. The list of celebrities who considered Frank their friend is endless. Sinatra was his favorite. At the, in Vegas, his last job was the Century Plaza. It's 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 in that book, Trumpet Blues. And he and how he, well do you know Stan Kent? Oh, very well. He had a story for everyone. Elizabeth Montgomery always bet the four horse. Desi and Lucy Arnaz. One day, Desi came in distraught. He had lost a cufflink, a gift from Lucy. We tried to find it. No luck. James Mason. Hello, Mr. Maine. Frank would tap the zinc bar and say, it was here, it was right here, where James Mason got knocked out in A Star is Born. You can live off your wife now. When the turf club closed, we followed Frank down to the clubhouse bar. A horse just won named Buy Me a Drink. Yeah. So do you think the winner Buy Me a Drink has anything to do with Frank Panza? Oh, yeah. Totally. What do you think? That's totally his horse. Man. I bet him any one. Do you see any of your handicaps ever? Frank treated the thousands of race fans like celebrities. And that's the whole point about Frank is that you know, with some people you meet, they kind of tell you the same story and over and over again, but uh, he's got plenty of layers and plenty of fiber to his, his life and, and what he brings. But And that's the, the whole point of when we come to the track, it's not about the winning or losing, it's about the memories. So, I mean, look, we're sitting here. The last race was over probably 15, 20 minutes ago, and we're still hanging around because, Frank, he brings he brings a story. He made a lot of money. He's had work in here. Really trainers, you know, well he he started working his track when he was uh, uh, selling hot dogs. Oh, yeah? When the first yeah, one was opened, 1930, 1934. He was caring. I want you to win every race. Thank you Good so far. far. <laughs> he was honest. Always use a jigger. Yes, Flavian's a main jockey. How do you say it? What? How do you say it? What's the whole name? What's the first name, please? Flavian. You're on camera right now. Flavian. 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 Uh, thank you. That's what he's saying. Two to one odds. Two to one odds. He knew what was happening. When your customer came in with the uh, Marquis water. Thomas was going to win. And then what happened? Well, that's all. And who won? This was way early in the day. And then? Well, there was nothing, nothing until the eighth race at one. He wasn't even here, he was upstairs. He treated everyone like a friend. You're a winner, man. I appreciate your, all, your, all you've done, man. Thank you, sure. Thank you, thank you very much. I know, but I know, but thank you very much. You bet. He got the winners, right? He says, that was the winner of the last race. I gave you a winner. He knew what was important. The way you conduct yourself. That's what I think it's about, the way you can talk to yourself. Like a gentleman or a lady, you know. He made us laugh. <laughs> and now he makes us cry. What will we do without Frank Ponza?